Well, in New York, thousands of Amazon workers are voting to unionize, and if approved, the warehouse would be the first Amazon facility to unionize in the entire country. Correspondent Tom Negevin joins us live from Staten Island. So, Tom, this could really deal a major blow to Amazon. It could. Two union votes underway almost simultaneously, Nicole. And as you say, the outcome could be historic. If one of these votes succeeds, those workers become the first in 27 years of Amazon's existence to form a union there. As one union vote ends, another begins. And protect the people that are in there. For the next five days, thousands of workers at a warehouse called JFK 8 on Staten Island will be casting ballots. And today, at the company's facility in Bessemer, Alabama, voting wrapped up after a nearly two-month mail-in campaign. It's been contentious. This protest outside Amazon's New York corporate offices on Jeff Bezos' birthday, another in Times Square. Well, I think it's huge for working class liberation. It's a David and Goliath fight, and in the drive to unionize a web based retailer, no surprise, much of it is being fought online. There's one website for the New York workers, another for Alabama. We say yes to know what our wages are going to be. Amazon had an anti union website, doitwithoutdues.com. It's been taken down, but the screen grabs can still be found. Offensive, workers say. And they're going to treat us with respect. They say they've been getting intimidating letters and texts from the company, and that has generated some high profile attention. It is also no great secret that in Alabama, Vermont, throughout this country, we have millions of workers who are working for starvation wages. Amazon pays a starting salary averaging $18 an hour and says it already offers most of what union leaders are looking for, saying in a statement, our employees are the heart and soul of Amazon and we've always worked hard to listen to them. And those Alabama ballots being counted right now, Nicole, just spoke to the union team there. They say the next time we hear from them, they'll have the result. We won't hear from them again before that. Uh, last year, Amazon actually won that vote, but the National Labor Relations Board ruled the company had interfered with it and ordered a new one. Yeah, Nicole. yeah, certainly not the first time there's been a vote in Bessemer. All right, Tom, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.